This foundation is inclusive in range. However, I'm not even gonna lie, most of the shades were warm. I just look really weird. I look very, very weird, I look orange. I think this looks absolutely amazing. This is probably the best foundation I have ever worn. And I know more shades are gonna come out for sure. So maybe in the next launch, I'll have my exact shade and I won't need to mix uh, 490 and 410. Um, I cannot wait to see what she does with the foundation lines. Hopefully she does come out with more olive yellow tones, especially in the darker range of her foundation shades just so Rita does not have to buy two of them in order to make this work hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know you guys are probably tired of hearing it but happy new year i am so excited that this gets to be my first video of 2019 today i am going to be doing a review on the brand new Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 445. You heard right, Fenty has finally extended their shade range to include some of the undertones that they did leave out in their initial launch. Now that was 16 months ago. I did buy the foundation back then and I did do a review on the foundation. However, I was not pleased with the fact that I did have to mix two shades in order to get something that was workable, you know? So I'm very happy that they did extend this shade range. I wanna show you guys today demoing how I do you know, apply the foundation onto my skin and what it does look like in comparison to the shade before it, which is 440, and the shade after it, which is 450. Maybe to help some of you out there who have not yet purchased the foundation and are looking to maybe see if something does work well for you. The initial launch was a little too warm, like too, there were too many red undertones and I don't have red undertones. I have golden olive undertones, so I was like, Rihanna, what you doing, girl? Before we get started, do not forget to join the family. You're already here watching this video. You're probably going to watch my Fenty Concealer Review video too right after this. Why not go ahead and just subscribe to the channel? Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I do upload a new video for you. And give this video a thumbs up if you did feel it was helpful to you in the end. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and jump right in. So, Fenty came out with 40 shades of amazing foundations back in September of 2017, and this was absolutely revolutionary. I did an initial review on the product, it was great. And although the Fenty Foundation had an amazing shade range, they did not have a very good selection of undertones. So I needed an olive undertone foundation or something that was like neutral to olive, but I wasn't getting that from anything. Like it was such a struggle. I will link my initial review right here if you wanna check it out to see the battle I went through. Like I ordered five different shades. So what I did end up having to do was buy two shades. And the two shades I bought were um, Pro Filter in 410 and Pro Filter Foundation in 490. Now these two mixed together were able to give me um, a good amount of olive undertones. Um, so even though it, it was actually more neutral, so honestly I was coming off a little gray because of it still had like a slight pink hue to it but I was able to work work with it um, and it still looked very good. What I'm realizing with the beauty community is that anything, any statement, any new revolution that comes along, beauty brands grab these things and think of them as trends. And you see a lot of brands now saying, okay, I got 55 shades of foundation coming out, I got 68 shades of foundation coming out. Okay, so what? Are you even matching us correctly? You can't say I brought out 60 shades of foundation and then like 38 of them not even match anybody correctly because you're under, you're not paying, you have to pay attention. It's not about a trend. It's not about a trend. And so I commend Fenty on being able to launch a line with 
40 shades and with a really good even distribution of the shades and with adequate representation however for me i just needed my undertone so i was not happy about that aspect of it because it was a great foundation for me it also wasn't a problem because this these are two foundations that i could have in my kit like with clients and stuff if for example i was just like a regular person who was purchasing foundations this would probably be a little painful for me because this foundation is 34 dollars, so that's almost 70 dollars 70 dollars plus with tax spent in order to match my shade. That is why I'm really excited about this new shade extension. I'm really, really happy that Fenty did decide to do this. So we are going to go ahead and try this foundation out. So this is shade 440. I'm gonna swatch that right here. Oh Jesus. As you can see, it is so red. Let me put enough right here. So 445. Four fifty. Okay, on the right side of my face, I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I used to have to do with this foundation. I had to mix shade 490, which was the darkest shade in their line previously, and shades 410 in order to get a good color match. Okay, so this here is 490 and 410 mixed together. Two red, a little more neutral goldens, giving me a little more olive, and just way too red. So Fenty's line really and truly, and there are workers at Sephora who will tell you this, who would discuss the truth with you. It was just too pink, too, too much pinks, too much reds, you know? So I'm happy that they did add add some more shades first i'm going to go in with the fenty beauty soft matte instant retouch primer this primer helps to just keep the skin matte it's a very interesting formula because it does feel hydrating but at the same time it does help to mattify and kind of blur the skin a bit okay my afro is going to get in the way so let me just slap this on quickly and then i'm just going to pin so the primer does feel very nice. It does actually work to keep your skin pretty fairly matte. I think the only thing I just don't like is that it has a slight pink hue. I'm not really a fan of that. Shade 445. I'm going to just, I'm going to be doing half of my face first. That's one thing I know about this foundation is that you need to work very quickly. So I'm just going to take this and just dot. And then I'm gonna go work this in. One thing I really like about this foundation is that I don't even need to set with powder. Like powder does not need to be used. And when I did my initial review on it, I actually used shade 410 as a concealer. That's one thing I really do like about these foundations. They're, you can actually do a lot with them. Oh my God, this is much better much much better yay go rihanna i'm just gonna go in and add a little bit more around here some people say it's like more full coverage i think it's medium buildable um i wouldn't consider this completely full coverage but that's good that that's my favorite type of um foundation something that i can build with because you don't want something that you just spackle on and then just Go along well maybe some people do but i don't it's a much better match for me now um and even like looking at my face like this is a way this is way better this is way 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 better you can see definitely that this does bring out olive undertones and you can see that with my face and with my hand <gasps> ah! very very excited okay so i'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts on this shade extension this is the finished look with the new Fenty foundation shade number 445 I am so excited and so happy that I finally have a shade in this foundation range I finally feel like yes 
this spectrum is starting to become much more complete. They've got the shade range, but now they're starting to add and pay more attention to undertones. So I'm really, really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see how I did complete this look and the review for the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, as well as the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder, go on ahead click right here so that you can watch that review i hope you guys did enjoy this video thank you so much for watching my first video of 2019 do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i do upload a new video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it i really appreciate you guys sticking with me i hope to see you in another video very soon until then stay blessed and stay golden